welcome back! The Iowa State Cyclones are at it again, and guess what? The, uh, they are winning the Iowa football team, the feathered Iowa, the volleyball team is killing the opposition, the soccer team is... That's, well, that's, that's right, Phil. And while they're winning, while they're winning, I'll be the first to admit, I don't know anything about sports. Oh. Well, that's why we've hired an expert. He is revered and feared by at least three drunken Cyclones fans as the greatest athlete in Iowa State history. He insisted, however, that we introduce him properly. Justin, let's uh, run the footage. Oh, his childhood. Well, he was born in Brighton, Iowa on um, December 8th, 1990, to Gladys and Kevin Biggs. Drew's always been a bit of an oddballer. You know, he... Uh, He's very religious, or at least he was uh, in his youth. Uh, not a lot of kids try to perform goat sacrifices at age eight. He seemed to have won the lottery. It was just dumb luck for him. Um, for him to be the most famous punter in all of college history is beyond me. Um, I'm not too sure he realizes uh, his fame is for his uh, atrocious ability to play the game. Uh. Yeah, but his primary sport is obviously football, where he is third string and uh, very, very good supporting everybody and trying his hardest and, well, obviously is famous. I mean, otherwise I wouldn't be here. Well, unfortunately, his brother leaked information that uh, he was not a very good player, and so the other teams took it upon themselves to destroy our first two punters. Uh, leaving Andrew, sorry, is it Drew, right? Yeah. Leaving Drew uh, to be our third string punter for the remaining minute and a half. Can, can this be off the record? Can this be off camera? Sure. I, I hope he dies quickly. I hope he dies, I'll say painlessly, because he is my own brother. And I hope that I can officially change my name to Andrew Schneider. Um, that's been something, my, my wife's last name is Schneider. Um, and I just, I, I really truly hope for, for the sake of humanity that, that he finds his way off this planet. Uh, maybe, maybe he can go work for NASA. Um, on, on the record, uh, I, I wish him well. I, I hope that the, the medication goes through. I, I hope the doctors really take good care of him. I, I hope that he just, he just feels like a million bucks for the rest of his life. He's my brother, man. I, I care about him so much. And here he is, ladies and gentlemen, Drew Biggs. Uh, n no, I'm, I'm Andrew Biggs. I'm today's sports anchor. <clears throat> but you look just like Drew. Uh, oh, yeah, we, we're twins, and Drew is unable to be here due to a self-inflicted injury. Uh, but, no, you really look like Drew. Well, yes, I do. I'm, I'm glad you could pick that up. Well, in sports, the Iowa State Cyclones are... Hey, once wait, again wait, wait, hold, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me try something, Drew. Phil, do you have the official Drew Big sunglasses that, uh, that you got last week for Columbus Day? Do I? <laughs> They've never left my pocket. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. See, you look just like Drew. <laughs> you, you, awesome. know that, you know that I'm not him. You, you know that I'm Andrew. Hold on. Wait a second. N no. Drew, just put on the shades. <sighs> Andrew. Sure. Why not? You're really going to make me do this. Put yeah, on the yeah, shades. Yeah, do it. Now, the Iowa State Cyclone volleyball team, of course, was in action once again this week as they took on Baylor and... Nothing, nothing. Just keep reading. Right. Well, the Iowa State Cyclone uh, volleyball team was once again spotted uh, actually in the... Ho yeah. No, it's just I remember what your coach uh, said about you, Drew, in the, uh, in the package. <laughs> Damn it! Really, I'm not Drew, guys. Okay, you know, you know, you can take these sunglasses, and you know what? This is exactly what I expect from you. Okay, this is a family show, and this is all. You know what? I'm, I'm out of here. Seriously, you know what? Get out of here! I hate you all. I'm never coming back again. <clears throat> Since Drew, <clears throat> Andrew walked out, let's read some sports, Brandon. <clears throat> Oh, this just into Dirty Laundry Sports Desk. 
Steel Jans might be ruled ineligible for this week's game. The transfer student from San Francisco, however, hasn't failed any grades or do anything illegal for a college student. The problem? Our Dirty Laundry reporters used security cameras across campus to file a report to the registr registrar and head coach Paul Rhodes with footage damaging to the junior quarterback. The reasoning behind the suspension is that Jantz is actually an eight-year-old boy. Jantz before each game is enchanted by the wizard Shazam before each game, and the ensuing lightning bolt causes sirens to go off in Jack Trice as the Cyclones take the field. Iowa, you and I, and Connecticut are all filing formal appeals to NCAA. <laughs> Members of the ISU volleyball team were spotted at the MU today after practice. One unnamed reporter, <coughs> Phil Sears, <coughs> hey. attempted to interview the girls by asking for their phone numbers repeatedly. Sadly, after nearly 20 attempts with horrible volleyball puns and poor grammar to interview the girls, Ames police tackled Phil, I, I mean the man, and promptly arrested him. The reporter is no longer allowed within 500 feet of Hilton Coliseum. In my, no, the reporter's defense, they are beautiful ladies, and he was a beautiful man. And together, That's enough of that, Phil. <clears throat> right. <clears throat> and now, in accordance with Emperor Stephen Leith II's decree yesterday night, that all student broadcasts include an exhortation to his greatness, we are proud to bring you an entire solid hour of worship, praising his almightiness. What? No, no, that's not, no, he can't do that. Phil, he's our emperor. All praise to Emperor Leith. What about civil liberties? What about freedom of the press? I have a right to speak here. No, no, you can't. How dare you? This is Phil, like a, I, Phil, at least it's, it's uh, at least it's better than Joffrey's decree that no fatties appear on TV. Anyway, uh, all right, right after Dirty Laundry, prepare for the Emperor Leith Higher Power Hour. You stay obedient, Ames.